I'll try not to get emotional um, because I know that crying can make us look weak sometimes, right? <laughs> said now today, and I think you said again yesterday, that you personally have talked to countless FBI officials, employees, since this happened. Correct. I mean, really? Like, I mean, I, I mean, really? I mean, so are we talking... Between, like, email, like, text like, messages, like absolutely. 50, yeah. 60, 70? I, I'm I mean, gonna, like, look, we're not going to get into a numbers game. I, I mean, I have heard from a large number of individuals that work at the FBI that said that they're very happy with the president's decision. To the best of my knowledge, I'm the first mom to hold the job of the White House press secretary. That says less about me than it does about this president. I'd like to read you a letter from nine-year-old Dylan. My name is Dylan Harbin, but everybody calls me Pickle. I'm nine years old and you're my favorite president. And I'm going to ask the question again. And, and Why don't you ask it in the way that you're I'm apparently asking accusing respect. me of being? I'm not accusing. I'm asking a question, Sarah, seriously. Um, the question is, does this administration believe, does this president believe slavery was wrong? There's I no think slavery. it is disgusting and absurd to suggest that anyone inside of this building would support slavery. I actually really like Sarah. I think she's very resourceful. Like, she burns facts. And then she uses that ash to create a perfect smoky eye. <laughs> like maybe she's born with it. Maybe it's lies. It's probably lies. That evening says a whole lot more about her than it does about me. Uh, the people that were my friends before that evening are my friends today. <laughs> and point. I'm going to continue doing uh, the job that I came here to do every single day. Uh, the president said this morning the fake news media, the true enemy of the people must stop. The open and obvious hostility to report the news accurately and fairly. Uh, can you uh, state uh, for the record uh, which outlets uh, that you and the president uh, regard as uh, the enemy of the people? Uh, I'm not going to walk through a list, but I think uh, those individuals probably know who they are. Would that, would that include my outlet, which uh, received? Uh, the bomb I, I don't, I don't last think it's week. necessarily specific to a general, uh, broad generalization of a full outlet at times. I think there's individuals uh, that the president would be referencing. In high school, we, we recently had a lockdown room. One thing that, that affects mine and other students' mental health is to worry about, about the fact that we or our friends could get shot at school. Specifically, can you tell me what the administration has done and will do to prevent these senseless tragedies? I think that uh, as a kid and certainly as a parent, there is nothing that could be more terrifying for a kid to go to school and not feel safe. So I'm sorry that you feel that way. Uh, this administration takes it seriously. Uh, again, I'm not going to comment on the attorney-specific comments that I haven't seen. That's not what I said, and I, I know it's hard for you to understand. Um, even short sentences, I guess, but and please don't take my words out of context. But the separation a of illegal fam That's alien a families is the product of the same legal loopholes that Democrats refuse to close. And these laws are the same that have been on the books for over a decade. Uh, it's one of the greatest jobs I could ever have. I've loved every minute, even the hard minutes. Uh, I have loved it.